Hello, so good afternoon. Today we are going to see how to create bills receivables transactions in uh, Oracle Cloud Receivables. Okay, for that you have to go to receivables, billing, and go to create transaction. Take uh, I created a, one transaction called P receivables. Then I also created one customer, T test customer. So the setups for for this uh, I will give in the blog so that you can check that blog. Okay. I give the blog in the description so that you can check that, okay? Next one, quantity 100, price 110. After that, create and complete and close. So, 103 is created. After that, Go to tools, simple one, but I for the configuration will take some time. Mm -hmm. Go to schedule process, then print receivables. Print receivable transactions, print receivable transactions, then click on OK. I will give the total description of the setups in the blog so that. So, take uh, customer is the T test customer and submit. Simple one only, but uh, so to do that, you will submit uh, four concurrent programs. For the schedule programs, we call in fusions for schedule programs, while in EBS, we call it the e content programs. Okay. So, the setups also I will try to show here. So, so, so here, then republish, then go to video. So, video. So, is created okay one not three then we have to go to registry receivables Bills receivables are to go to bills receivables. Okay, Bill management. Then see one not three came. Okay. This way how to 
on pay to receive this uh, customer will pay to receive this okay uh, bill management so you can pay from here so if you click on this you can pay here to lost to credit card or debit card sorry to bank you can select either one of these okay so what they want to pay from bank you can save the form then continue so you can pay here like because it's not configured the banks so payment has been created and applied. Okay. So now it is paid. Okay. This way, how to we can uh, customer can pay the money uh, to bills payment. Okay. This okay. So it's one of the way to to pay the money to the client. Okay. So if you have any doubts on this, please ping me on the YouTube comment section so that I can reply back. These are the steps which you need to create. So we have to create transaction type, transaction source, and you have to create a customer contact to enable this receipt. We have to create a receipt class in methods and attach it the above one. To the customer. Okay, so this is one of these are the four steps we have to follow. I will give full description in the YouTube, sorry, in the blog, so that you can also check that total setups which is need to enable this receivers. Okay, so if you have any doubts on this, please ping me on YouTube comment section so that I can reply back. Thank you.